Permit to practice. Registration. To protect the public, it is important that an applicant for registration as a permit holder meet appropriate criteria before a permit to practice is issued by ensuring a minimum standard is met. When applying to a PEGA, an applicant must certify that a Professional Practice Management Plan, or PPMP, is in place and that the PPMP is appropriate to the professional practice. This will not change under new legislation. However, there are six proposed recommendations to further enhance the protection of the public by making the authority within legislation more explicit. We will spend the next few minutes reviewing the proposed recommendations, why they are important, and the impact they will have. Number 1. Explicitly authorize practice review panels, rather than counsel, to consider and be the decision maker on applications for a permit to practice. Criteria used by practice review panels to make decisions will be established by counsel. Currently, counsel is responsible to review and decide on all applications. Number 2. Practice reviewers will also assess whether the PPMP can and will be properly implemented and make recommendations to a practice review panel. Currently, legislation is not explicit. Number 3. Explicitly indicate that in addition to the other requirements, an applicant must satisfy the practice review panel that it has a PPMP that is appropriate to its professional practice and that it can and will be properly implemented in accordance with criteria approved by counsel. Currently, legislation is not explicit. Number 4. Explicitly authorize practice review panels to perform the following actions in accordance with criteria approved by counsel. Approve applications with or without conditions and restrictions or refuse applications. Currently, legislation is not explicit. Number 5. Explicitly authorize the Practice Review Committee to delegate to the Registrar's Office the ability to review permit-to-practice applications for registration and make recommendations to practice review panels as appropriate in accordance with criteria approved by Council. Currently, delegation of the authority is not explicit. Number 6. Explicitly grant applicants the right to appeal an application decision, not explicit in current legislation. The primary reasons these proposed recommendations are important is, first and foremost, to protect the interests and safety of the public, and secondly, to improve the health of the professions by ensuring minimum standards are met before a permit to practice is issued. The effects of the changes are a PEGA's decision-making authority will be explicit and rest at the appropriate level. Application criteria will be defined by counsel. Evaluations and decisions about applications will be done by peers through practice reviewers and practice review panels. Prior to approval, Applicants will be required to demonstrate that their PPMP is appropriate and can and will be implemented. This may necessitate that a risk-based baseline audit be conducted prior to issuing a permit to practice. The assessment of a PPMP will vary depending on the areas of professional practice undertaken by the applicant. The Practice Review Committee will be able to delegate authority to the Registrar to review applications and make recommendations as appropriate. An updated PPMP practice standard and template will be developed to assist new permit applicants and current permit holders.